All my life was a plan when we met Said you never gonna find a better man when we met Can't even imagine in my brain when we met That everything will never be the same You scream at me, baby, give me all your hours You best believe everything I got is ours See, we a team, so we get what we desire Living our dreams, plant a seed, let it flower You and the kids making me a better man now I Vow that I'll never let them down I Next to you's where I wear my crown I You will never ever hit the ground so Give me all my life was the plan when we met yeah. Said you never gonna find a better man when we met Dob Squad, Dob Squad. What's going on, Dobson team, Dobson family, Dobson army? It is another episode of Cooking with the Dobson. Cooking with the Dobson. Alright, so the last time you guys were checked in, it was me cooking. We made some baked mac, some jerk chicken. I told you that I'm not the big chef in the house. She is the big chef in the house. So I'm blessed enough to get home from work every night. Dinner's ready, breakfast is ready in the morning. I got my lunch packed, everything ready to go. So that was a fluke last time. I randomly make a deal, you know, <laughs> meal from time to time. But this time I'm gonna let the queen show you guys what she does, all right? So we got hundreds of recipes. I got hundreds of favorite dishes. I mean, this thing that she loves to eat, whether it's Spanish, you know, Jamaican food, Italian food, Asian food. So, I mean, listen guys, stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot of different nationalities and um, ethnicities when it comes to food and culture, okay? Yes. But today we're gonna go with Stuffed bell peppers. Stuffed bell peppers. So you're gonna realize that whenever a food is mentioned, mm -hmm. I'ma always say it's like one of my favorite because pretty much all food is my favorite. So this honestly though is one of my favorite dish because it's semi-healthy. You know what I mean? You got the bell pepper that the food is being cooked inside of. You know what I'm saying? You got your rice in there, your brown rice in there. You've got your lean ground beef, your lean turkey, your lean chicken, whatever type of meat you want in there. You know, you got a sprinkle of uh, maybe some low fat cheese. Yeah. You know, you got some sweet potato on the side. So for the most part, a lot of your macros and micros are being, are being covered in this meal. And you know, it just doesn't feel like a high carb, you know, starchy and bread and all that stuff. So I would consider this probably the closest thing to a cleaner type of meal. And oh, it's good. And it's good. <laughs> and, but most importantly, a lot of the condiments that you use, you know, you can just make sure things are more organic, things are low in fat, things are low in sodium. You can go as clean as you want to go. want to keep a little bit of thought process into it. Plus, I don't want you guys jumping over the deep end if you're not in the gym three, four, five days a week, all right? So with that being said, baby girl, I'm going to fall back. I'm going to let her do a lot of the talking today because this is one of her recipes. This is her meal. And you know what? I think the people out there want to hear Scarly talk. They want to hear how Scarly moves and they want to see your swag, okay? So, all right, so what's going on, babe? What we got going on over here? All right, so these are some of the things that you're gonna need. All right, it's a lot of things we're gonna need. Bell peppers, of course. Okay. We got some ground beef. Okay, we got, so you can go lean ground beef. You can do ground turkey, you can do ground chicken, whatever you prefer. Okay. We got some rice, okay. of course. We got some sweet potatoes here. Uh, for the sweet potatoes, you're gonna need some butter. If you want it, you don't have to. And also we have some cinnamon sugar to make it a little bit sweet. Nice. <laughs> and we have some corn to be stuffed in the peppers. Nice. Got black beans. Okay. Got some tomato sauce for some flavor. Okay. Olive oil. We got some pepper. A little bit of salt. Might not use it, but we have it. Got some adobo. Mm. Yo, for my Spanish people, man, you guys know the deal. Adobo on everything, right? Yes, adobo, adobo on, on everything. everything. All right. <laughs> and we got onion powder and garlic powder. And that's pretty much it. And then as far as um, utensils, you need masher. Masher, yes. <laughs> um, a pan to put the peppers in when we put it in the oven. Gonna need a frying pan. And then a saucepan to cook the rice. And then a pot. Okay. Yes. You ready? Look at that smile. <laughs> Look at those teeth. <laughs> yeah, I think I just want to eat her. Like, God damn, I'm good with the food. All right, so you ready, baby? Let's go. All right, so listen, you guys saw the uh, the ingredients list. You've seen everything that you need as far as pots and pans and mashers and the whole nine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of a list in the description of the video. And we're going to drop the list right yeah. here. Yeah. 
So you saw your ingredients list and you've seen all the stuff that you need as far as supplies to go ahead and make this meal. Babe, how many people does this meal feed? This meal actually feeds four, okay. but since it's just us two, you know. We're gonna have some leftovers. Yeah. But I eat a lot, so I'm gonna probably eat more as well. Yeah. I, mean, I probably eat two. So it's four, it's four peppers, mm -hmm. right? So basically that can be one serving or one pepper per person. Yes. Um, and then we have the rice as well, right? Yes. So I how actually, much rice? I actually already started cooking the rice. I used one and a half cups of rice and okay. I did two and a half cups of water. All right. And I know I know the ground beef, the amount is in the recipe, but how many pounds of ground uh, beef? I used one point three two pounds. All right, cool. So 1.32 pounds. So a little little less than a pound and a half, a little bit more than a pound and a quarter. Yeah. All right, so what you did next? Oven is preheated at 375. Okay. And we have the rice ready to cook. All right. Um, also, two ingredients I forgot to mention. We're going to need onion and some minced garlic as nice, well. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so what's your next step? We have to brown the ground beef, but we should start cutting some onions first. Okay. So we don't need too much. All right guys, so our onions are diced up, ready to go. So now I already started heating up the pan so we can add some olive oil. All you need is just a little bit. And then we can add them in. We added in the onions that cook the them for a little bit. You want them to get a little brown <laughs> so they can be cooked. So then you can add in the ground beef. So our onions are now a little bit brown so we can add the ground beef. Now we just cut it up and let it start cooking. I just want to know. How you guys are liking this experience without seeing my face all in the camera, huh? You're not hearing my voice, you don't see my face. You think they're having a good time? I think so. Is she entertaining you guys enough? <laughs> guys, I'm <needed. laughs> She's doing phenomenal, man. Look at the view. Look at the view. Yes, good job, baby. Thank you. You gotta season the ground beef? Now we gotta season our ground beef. Let's get a little bit. Throw it in there. How much was that? Like half, a, half a tablespoon? Yeah, like half a tablespoon. Okay. And then with the seasonings, I kind of just do it by Sight? eye. Okay. Yeah. So I just feel like whatever. Yeah, because you know what your taste is like. Yeah. It took years to develop what tastes good and what doesn't taste good. Mm -hmm. I just put like a layer on it, yeah. you know what I mean? Over years you realize that if your layer was too heavy, yeah. your food came out too salty, or if right. it's not heavy enough. Listen, I think one of the best rules with seasoning food Less is best, okay? You always want to have to add something mm -hmm. because if you go too hard, you can't take it back. Exactly. Am I right? That's true. Adding some pepper. And just a little. Nice. All right, now we can mix it all up. So our Ground beef is already browned and our rice is pretty much done. Baby, you wanna try? Let me taste that baby girl. She was really good. I am starving right now. Well, I'm actually always starving. Let me see. It's mm. hot. <laughs> mm. I can eat the rice by itself tonight. I'm a rice lover. Mm. Rice is on point, baby girl. Thank you. So mm -hmm. The rice is ready. What else we got going on? So now we gotta cut the peppers. All okay. I did was Pretty much just cut off the top and you have this and you have to wash them. Okay. And also cut out the inside, of course. Right. And you kind of cut close to the top because you don't want to cut, yeah. make the pepper too so, small. Yeah. This is just a, how it should look. Okay. And then you just go like this, cut out the middle. Nobody can't say you didn't eat your greens today. Peppers are done. So then um, we're going to add the beans to the ground beef and we're going to add the corn. Mix all this up and then we're gonna add some tomato sauce. Right. Okay, so now we're adding tomato sauce. I am doing three cups. Now we're gonna mix it all up and then we're gonna add our rice. Just do it like this. 
You can add as much rice as you want. Because remember, it's just going in the peppers. So. It's, it's a matter of how many people are going to eat. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's good. And then we're just going to mix it all up. And then you want to kind of bring the heat up a little bit so it can cook and get all the flavoring together. So we're going to let that cook for like five minutes. And then we're going to put them in the peppers. So... Now I just wrap the peppers. I have two options. You can actually boil the peppers to make them soft, or you can just wrap them up like I did and put them in the microwave for like five minutes or until when they're softened to your liking. You kind of want to keep an eye on it, yeah. and you know, once you feel that they're as soft as you'd like, you pull them out. Yes. I, should, I feel like they should be able to hold everything together inside there. You don't want your peppers exploding and right. dripping onto the plate, right? Yeah. So how are you doing so far? You doing good? Doing good. You Ready excited? To eat. Yes. You hungry? I'm starving. Ooh, it's about to go down uh, in the Dobson house. Listen, guys, let us know what you think so far about the uh, the prep. Let us know what you guys think about, you know, the um, stuffed peppers. I love them. You know, some people probably don't like them. Some people probably just don't even like veggies. Um, and get, you know, if you want to tag us on some of your favorite recipes down below, feel free to do so. I took the peppers out of the microwave. I put them in there for like five minutes, and now they are ready to be stuffed. Teddy, how do you feel about this? How do you feel? Huh? You wanna show the people a trick real quick? This is what we do. This is what me and Teddy do when mommy's cooking, all right? We gotta keep ourselves entertained. Come here, come here, Teddy. Come here. He over there eating his own food. Come here, come here. Sit, good boy. Look, sit, sit, down, play dead. Okay, sit, high five. Yeah, down, circle. Yes, one more, circle. Yes, sit, sit, down, down, roll over. Woohoo! That's how we say entertain. All right, we in the circus right now. How we looking? <laughs> oh, she over here eating, babe. Yo, I said I was starving, and she is <laughs> over here eating food while I'm playing with Teddy. Comment below when you're cooking. <laughs> You know that you gotta try it to make sure it's good. <laughs> That's what it is? <laughs> yeah. All right, so what's the next step, baby All girl? right, next step, we are gonna add some cheese. Nice. Yeah, again, so you guys could do six peppers, you could do eight peppers, it's just me and her tonight. Yeah. You know, um, baby Jay is, doesn't eat peppers, but he's being watched by Scarly's mom. Mm -hmm. Jazz and Jada, they're in Philly with their mom, so it's just us tonight, so. Yeah. You know, this is more than enough right here. So right now, I'm using the Mexican blend. Mexican, Mexicano blend. Yeah. Okay. This is my favorite cheese. That is my favorite. We eat that on everything. Breakfast, the whole nine. Yeah. The oven is pretty much ready to go, right? The yes. oven's preheated at three, 375. Yes. We got these ready to go. Damn, that's a lot of leftover meat over there. I know. We need to figure out another meal to make with that tomorrow, right? <laughs> yep. Shoot. So now we're going to put it in there and leave it in there for like 30 to 45 minutes. 30 to 45 minutes. Boom. That's it. Okay, guys, so I already washed my sweet potato and I skimmed them. So now I just finished cutting them up so we can boil them and then we can mash them up and make our mashed sweet potato. So you're doing that while the stuff is in the oven? Yes. Ooh, look at you multitasking. Okay. And you kind of just want to watch the sweet potato and just see when it feels like soft. So you can mash them. Gotcha. So we got about 35 minutes with the peppers baking in the oven. Mm -hmm. The sweet potatoes, once those are, like she said, as soft as you want them, yeah. pull them, you know, basically drain the water. Yes. We're gonna mash, mash those things up. down. That's pretty much it. You put yeah. your cinnamon on there, put some brown sugar on there, and, and we got a meal, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Woo, courtesy of my boo. All right, guys, seen a little while. Okay, guys, so Jason just went to the gym. So now I am left here, but guess what? So we took out the bell peppers and they are pretty much done. Mm -mm -mm. So we are still prepping the sweet potatoes and we will check back in a little bit. Okay guys, so we have finished cooking our sweet potato. It should look something like this. So it's pretty much already soft and it looks so good already. So now what you want to do is add some butter. You're probably just going to put like a teaspoon and see.
see how it tastes. Then we're going to add our cinnamon sugar. You don't want to put too much of this because then it might be too sweet. Mm. That is so good. Comment below if you love sweet potato because I know I do. So I'm going to show you the finished product shortly. Daddy's home, baby. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Done. Everything good? Everything is good. All right, listen, I'm, I'm 35 minutes into my workout. I get that infamous text that every man loves so much. Babe, dinner's ready. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mommy. What we looking like? Dinner Damn. Is okay, okay, okay. Got a little fork. It's been not least. Taste the moment test. we've all been waiting. It's so pretty, though. I don't even want to touch it. Try it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even want to touch it. Oh yeah. I like this mix of uh. How is mm. it? <laughs> Perfect, baby girl. Thank you. Perfect. This is that. This is that, as we were saying the gym. This is gains right here. Carbs, my greens, everything. Taste the sweet potato. Mm-hmm. I love you, baby. Love mm, give me some love. <laughs> Look, yo, am I lucky or what, guys? Oh my God, give me a kiss. Love you. Love Thank you. you. Mm. Guys, we love you. We appreciate you. Comment below once you make the meal. Let us know how it works out for you. I would love to stay in chat, but I got some work to do. All right? Let me do my thing, guys. Dive Squad, we out. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Peace. Bye.